So here's a kitchen conundrum that I know you've all been asking about. What to do with seized chocolate when all you really want is this perfectly melted, silky smooth, satiny chocolate like this. Well, I'm gonna show you how you get from point A, chocolate, to point B, which is perfect, and if it does happen to seize on you, how to fix this lumpy mess. So, starting off, I have about eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate here, and I'm gonna go over a pot of simmering water. So a heat-proof glass bowl works well. You don't want a vigorous boil. You just want to simmer because chocolate is so sensitive to heat. You really don't want the chocolate to come over 110 to 120 degrees. You want to avoid introducing moisture into the chocolate because that's what makes chocolate seize up. So make sure all of your utensils that you're using are free of moisture and try to avoid wooden spoons, which can kind of harbor moisture. So clean, dry utensils and gently stir the chocolate every so often until it's nice and smooth and melted. After a few minutes and occasional stirring, the chocolate is nicely melted. It, it's shiny, it's beautiful, silky, ready for whatever you need it for. Now, be careful here. You wanna remove it from the heat and you also want to wipe the underside of the bowl because that has a ton of moisture and you wanna make sure that it doesn't get into your chocolate. So remember to wipe the bottom of the bowl and whenever you're melting chocolate, Make sure you never cover it. That actually will create condensation, drip back down into the chocolate and make it seize. So try to avoid those things. But if you do end up with seized chocolate like this, there's a very easy way to fix it. The fastest and easiest way is to add a little bit more water, boiling water. Now this might seem a little crazy since that's what got you into this mess, the excess moisture, but it really does help to fix the problem. Now, if you were coating strawberries here or if you were making some sort of candy or bark, you wouldn't really be able to use this chocolate for it, but this is just a way to avoid throwing away the chocolate. So a teaspoon at a time of boiling water into the chocolate and you just need to stir this around until it becomes nice and thin and silky. You might have to add a few more teaspoons of water at a time. Just a teaspoon at a time until it's a nice silky texture. And as you can see, the chocolate is shiny, silky, viscous, and it's perfect right now for adding into a brownie batter, into a cake batter, or simply on top of some ice cream. And your once seized chocolate that you were gonna throw away is now usable. So there you go, kitchen conundrum solved. If you have any kitchen conundrums that you need solved, whether they're baking, whether they're holiday related, breakfast related, write in the comment section below or reach out to us using the hashtag kitchen conundrums and we will try and solve whatever problem you throw our way.